Oh, well, that's definitely a problem. Well, I think that's going to end our video now. <laughs> and this is probably the worst place for that to happen. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's been about 30 minutes and I'm just about out of water. <laughs> So, I am pushing my Honda CRF 250L through the desert. Because <laughs> I got a flat. But, my buddy is going to go get my Ford Raptor <laughs> and attempt to rescue me with it. That's if I don't die before he gets here. I pushed the bike to a spot where I could see the larger uh, access road that they used to get to the power lines out here. Uh, so it should take him a little while to get out onto the correct road. Oh, phone's ringing. Incoming call from Carol. Hey. Should take Incoming this. call from. Hello. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. It's been 40 minutes and I'm almost out of water. <laughs> I gotta go because I was in the middle of a monologue. I was trying to film it. All right, love you too, bye. Where was I? I don't remember what I was saying, probably something stupid. Actually, to let my friend know where I'm at to pick me up, we're using a feature on the Verizon phone for our messages called Glimpse. When you uh, you have your text message screen up, and there's a little option there with a plus sign. If you click it, it gives you all these options. Like if you want to add a photo, or if you want to add video, or audio, or who knows what. There's, there's a lot of things there. One of the things is called Glimpse. And what Glimpse is, is you click it, and it can tell the person to meet you somewhere in a few minutes, and you can pick the place, and I guess it sends them the address and plots it on a map for them. The other option is to ask them where they are and when they, if they agree to it, then it'll send you a Google Maps of where they're at. Finally, of course, there is the uh, come and help me, I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> which is just, hey, find me. And you click that one and it gives them your location. It appeared on his phone as just a little red dot in the middle of the desert, but he could see uh, the main roads that are leading out here. He's making his way out, uh, out here via the most reasonable route so he doesn't have to go up and down any of those crazy hills that it takes to come the shorter route. He might have been able to make it in my truck and I'm sure he would like to try it, but I'd rather not uh, see it get too damaged. Now we're just waiting and hoping that that uh, monsoon doesn't come in and crush me. Let's see where Nick is. How far out are you? Uh, I'm on Boston, just about to... It's my destination is ahead. That's what I just said. The Chief, <laughs> Chief Joseph? Isn't yeah. that awesome? Uh, Chief Joseph Road. That's like, uh, I happen to be Mr. Joseph. Yeah, I know, right? That's what you had to break down there. And... I think you broke down somewhere farther away from there and you push it to there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my middle name is uh, Kuwaili'i, which in Hawaiian means chiefly born, loosely translated. Something like, you know, uh, I'm basically born to be the chief. I'm born to lead. So, you're, so does that mean you're going to the spot where you're going to die? Chief Joseph Drive, here it is. Monica. What ended up happening with my tire was that a nail had gone through just about the center of the tire. It actually went in, it was a large nail, went in pretty deep, curved around, and came back out. 
kind of weaving itself through the rubber and starting to split the tire. It shredded the, the uh, inner tube, of course. Probably why I, I crashed in the first place and I was just riding around on a flat tire after that. We found that out because after Nick picked me up, we went to uh, Cochise Motorsports here in uh, Sierra Vista. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Say hi. You're going to be on YouTube. This is my rescue. They showed me the damage. <laughs> yeah, bet. And they offered me the Kenda tire here that I've got on it right now, which is the exact same tire that I was looking at on Amazon based off of recommendations from Everride. I'm sorry to Everride, I would have ordered it uh, through your link, but I needed a tire right on the spot. They went ahead and replaced it in about 40 minutes or so and uh, rode home on it. It works out in, in my favor because I was actually looking at uh, replacing that tire pretty soon. I didn't want that situation pushing me into uh, making the decision. But I am glad that I got it because now I can test it out and I can do a review for all of you out there who want to know about these Kenda tires. They charged me $58, which is actually cheaper than, uh, than what you'll find on Amazon. Eventually, I'll get to uh, doing a review for you all on this tire so you can make a decision whether or not you'd like to get one. I survived. I didn't die in the desert. And uh, I know you were all concerned. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like or subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.